During this time, Trinity has supported businesses and organizations serving the people most affected by the current pandemic. Among those we have supported is PS Kitchen. PS Kitchen is a restaurant and social enterprise located in the Times Square area with the incredible mission of providing employment to individuals who need a second chance. Here is their story of how this season shifted the magnitude of their prayers and how God responded. As the pandemic reaches its first year anniversary, we thought to check in on the organizations and businesses and see how they are doing. For this installment, we are checking in with April Tam Smith, the co-founder of PS Kitchen. April, in a few words, can you tell us a bit about what is PS Kitchen? Yes, of course. Thank you so much for having me and for your support during the pandemic. Uh, PS Kitchen is a social business plant-based restaurant in the middle of Times Square. The reason we named it PS was that we're trying to describe the idea to squeeze in as many impact and the highest return on ROI in terms of impact that a little restaurant can have. So PS, we donate 100% of our profit. PS is 100% plant-based. And meanwhile, we passionately employ people who might need a second chance, whether it be our brothers and sisters who are coming home from prison, those who've survived homelessness, different abuses, and various difficult situations in our city. That's an incredible mission. Thank you for both the work that you're doing. It was a joy to be able to bring our high school youth to come to eat at your restaurant and both hear your story. That was so fun. Thanks for doing that. So we know that 2020 has not been an easy year for restaurants. Since as part of the efforts to control this pandemic, restaurants have been operating on limited capacity for the past 10 months. Many have had to close uh, permanently. Mm -hmm. April, you and PS Kitchen have an incredible story of how it's been able to stay open. Can you share that with us? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the one word summer is just really prayer and God's provision. Um, I remember when the pandemic first started, March 15, that was the day that we had to decide if we needed to start closing our restaurant. Later on, the mayor ended up telling everyone that they did, but at the time we decided it was wise to do that. On that same day when we had to furlough so many of our 67 staff, and it was also the day that my mom, who is actually a liver transplant and cancer survivor, also happened to have had a stroke. And I just remember, remember thinking, God, like, what do you want me to do with all of this? And what do you want me to do with this business that you have placed in my, my heart and in my life? Um, a few weeks later, as we we're really trying desperately to figure out what to do and the restaurant's been closed the whole time, I remember on May 10th, I finally came to the decision that I'm just gonna desperately need a sign from God. I know it doesn't always work that way. There are times in the Bible that it did, but it's not guaranteed. But I just asked, you know, God, can I hear from you at this point? We've had our lease for five years. It's been something I've been working hard on for five years. And I needed almost like a vows renewal, <laughs> like a vows renewal with Jesus of what do you want me to continue? I was talking to my husband about that. And he kind of said, you know what I would believe is a sign from God. If someone came in and helped us with our rent for a year, then I would know that he wants us to keep going. And honestly, at that time, I laughed and I was like, who's going to want to do that? Remind you, this is Times Square, New York City, 48th Street, right across from Hades Town. It's, it's really as expensive as they can get. And it was scary signing that lease, that 15 year lease when I was 30 years old. And now it's even scarier having that lease when the restaurant was not going to be reopened for really God knows how long. And I kid you not, Two days later, and I think that's the beauty of prayer journal. I've had that habit for over 10 years now of just writing down everything that all the conversations you want to have with God. And I literally wrote in there, God, if you would send someone to pay our rent for 12 months, because I so want to hear from you. In addition to the financial provision, I think Grandma and I both really want to know that you're in it. Long story short, Literally two days later, I got an unsolicited email from an acquaintance introducing me to someone I have never heard of, never met, 
who somehow knew about my restaurant. And they simply said, we were looking for New York-based food-related ministries and believers who we want to support. How can we help you? And I started telling them about our effort to feed the medical workers, which you guys have helped us do. And it's been such an amazing effort. At that time, my heart was also starting to get really drawn to people who don't have shelter to be in place. So I also mentioned maybe medical workers, maybe the homeless effort, but maybe you also want to help us with a little bit of rent. And I kid you not, of all the things I mentioned, this donor actually said, oh, rent, that's why up our alley. Perfect. How much is your rent? And tell me more. Long story short, by the end of that conversation and a few other, um, a month later, with their help and some of the government help, we actually have well over a year of rent taken care of. And that is just something I'm always going to lean on because of Jesus and knowing he's in it with me. That's amazing, April. Every time I hear this story, it just reminds me and as an encouragement to me about the power of just asking, mm -hmm. of laying all of our bold requests before the Lord. So thank you once again for sharing your story. Given that unique outcome, you know, how has PS Kitchen been able to serve the community during this time? Yeah, I am so grateful because of that. We have been able to keep going with the medical workers effort. We end up bringing over 11,000 meals to various hospitals around the city. I think when we added up, it was like 31 or 37 hospitals in the city. Um, we end up bringing over 9,000 meals to the Bowery Mission as well. And that's just been absolutely wonderful. I actually got the privilege to do with a lot of the logistics with the medical workers and being able to email them and just getting their pictures, their videos, and just their heartfelt note during the peak of the pandemic. It's something that I'm always gonna cherish in my heart as a New Yorker. So now during this season of uh, PS Kitchen, we would love for you to be able to share how can Trinity support your mission and your business during this time? Well, thank you. Um, well, this is the fun part. Come eat. <laughs> um, that's the idea of PS Kitchen. We want people to have fun while they're giving, have fun while they're creating jobs. So uh, we reopen back up, thankfully, on Valentine's Day for indoor dining. You can always get takeout. You can buy gift cards for your friends. And I know we have actually, funny enough, a mutual passion for Rwanda and the DRC area in Africa, we actually have a PS Kitchen branded coffee that comes from an all women co-op in Rwanda with 599 women farmers. Many of them tell the story of redemption and forgiveness after the horrific genocide. And they are just so passionate about using coffee as this incredible economic empowerment for their community. And just so admire these women who are the farmers bringing us this delicious coffee. So yeah, try it out. I love it. We can use our joy for food and coffee uh, to support your mission. So definitely try their food. I can verify they make an incredible burger and it's great to once coffee hour commences that we can also partake in the coffee that you're creating with impact as well. So once again, thank you, April, for joining us. Thank you for sharing your story with the Trinity community. Thanks so much for having me.